This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to AWS Data Engineer Training Program. And today's topic is Code Pipeline. So this topic is like CACD a topic, Continuous Integration, Continuous Deployment. So as part of CACD, we talked about few services in the last week and today we'll be talking about code set up a code commit repo for static website create a code pipeline add source stage add build stage add deploy stage push code changes into the git repo monitor the code pipeline and verify the code changes on the website so in the simple words Code pipeline is the end to end solution starting from you are committing your code changes into the git from there how the code will be going into the AWS service because it may be possible that you are maintaining your code in the GitHub. Okay, or it may be possible that you are maintaining within AWS that is code commit. After that there can be a stage like code build if you remember code build was used for building your code converting your text code into a executable format and along with that you can add some test command if you have written some test cases in that case your test cases will run and if your test cases are failing if any of the test case is failing then you can you can decide whether you want to proceed or not in most of the cases if the test cases are failing that means we will immediately abort the process we will not be going further we will not be deploying our code changes okay so code pipeline is like integrating all those small things together like you can see here adding a source stage like where exactly your code is located then we'll be adding a build stage then we'll be adding a deploy stage and all these things will be integrated together that means if everything goes fine that means you have to only make the code change into the git you have to commit into the git repo and everything else will be taken care by the code pipeline okay so for practice for learning purpose what we will do is if you remember when we had a s3 classes we created one static website and we'll try to update that static website code with the help of code pipeline although you can do directly on s3 because entire s3 code is you can say your entire s3 code is uh, i mean the static website code is available in s3 right if you want to make any change you can directly change into s3 also but if you want to see how code pipeline works and moreover it's not always about static website there can be many more type of uh, projects there can be web application there can be database or there can be something else right so code pipeline can help you to integrate different type of components and it can make your end-to-end -end pipeline working so let me open our aws console we'll be doing the things practically first of all we'll go to s3 and do we have static website it's there my static website this one you can see here it is clearly saying publicly accessible then only your static website will work if it's not accessible then people will not be able to use your website right so if we will go to properties and if we will come down and the bottom you can see here static website hosting and there is a link given here so let's click on this and static website will be opening yeah it's opening here okay now we want to make some change in this file so this change you can see that within login the nearest word is written right that was a change which we made as per my last uh, training batch but we will we'll make some other change don't worry about it okay so what we will do is we will go back to our this one and will be 
opening code commit is first of all we need to put the code inside our git repo then only we will make some change and we will we will verify how the code changes are happening so test code commit repo is there okay and there are three files here instead of these three files what i will do is i will put my entire static website code here that's what i will do so if i will go here like add file and if i will start adding files one by one it's a long process because there are hundreds of files if i go to my local okay and if i show you my code i think this one e shopper web free website template this one and inside this you can see that there are a lot of files and there are a lot of folders also if you go to each folder you will find further files there are a lot of things right so definitely what we will do is let's do one thing let's create a zip file of it or do i have the zip file already let me check if i already have then it would be great zip 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 png file yaml file zip file we do have zip file so this one e shopper free website template this one right so i will upload this file into my cloud 9 so that i can commit it from there that would be the easiest way because even in my uh, cloud 9 if i will start uploading file one by one that would take a lot of time so what i will do is let me duplicate this so feel free to stop me if you are uh, not getting like what exactly i am doing so what i will do i will open cloud 9 because in the cloud 9 we have cloned our uh, repo right <clears throat> so i will open this let me see if i can delete the files from uh, the code commit directly i'm not sure if we can do that if i will open this and do we have any option to delete oh, i don't think so that means from the ui you can only upload the files it will not allow you to delete the file but i want to delete because now instead of these three files i would like to put my static website code how to delete <clears throat> okay no worries we'll do it from our cloud name so last time uh, in the last week i told you how to add new files right and then you will push it and ultimately the file will be added to your uh, repository on the server now we can do the reverse i can delete the file from my local and then i can commit that and i can push it that means those file will be removed from your server we'll do that okay so i will go to my git directory and inside that test code commit repo and test june repo so the below one is from github and the above code commit one is from my aws right so we'll go into test code commit repo <coughs> Okay, and it is showing two files only. Why it's showing two files, and why it is showing three files over there? Sample dot build spec dot table. I think we directly pushed here in the repo. Let me do one thing. I will do git pull. Mm, git pull. So we uploaded some file directly on the UI. You can see this line. Build spec.yml and 25 is nothing but number of lines. And this plus means this, this file was added. Plus means this file was added. And now since I did git pull, that means those code changes, any new file or anything, those have been pulled from your git repo from your server to your local. And if you will do again, if you will check here, you will find three files. You can check it now. 
buildspec.yml, sample.py and these three files. This currently my local git repo, that's my git repo on my cloud9, is in sync with the repo on the server. Now what I will do, I will delete these files. So rm hyphen build this one <coughs> sample.py and build spec.yml done uh, okay by mistake i provided the same rm hyphen sms okay you can see now it is not displaying any file because three files were there and all those three files I have deleted, but only deleted from my local. It's not deleted from the server. If you go to server and if you will refresh, you will still find those files over there. Because you file deleted from local, you haven't committed that. You haven't pushed those changes to your server. So we'll do that quickly. So I will check git. And you can see here. So you, it is clearly showing in the red one that these files have been deleted. So you can do git add, git add, and there is a command hyphen all. If you don't want to do it multiple times, you can do like this. Otherwise, you will do git add then first file, git add second file, git add third file. If you will do git add all, that means it will add all the files. And let's check git status. You can see here these three files it is saying that these have been like uh i mean added but not yet committed so we'll commit also it commit hyphen m m for message we'll put some message removing all files and git push That's all. We'll go back to the repository and we'll refresh this. And you can see now, there is no file on the server because you initially deleted from local and then finally you pushed that change to the server. So finally those files have been removed from the server. Okay. Now, the purpose uh, for removing this is because I wanted to upload some <clears throat> other type of code. So, I will go back to my cloud nine. So, there's an option if you will go to file. And if you will come here, it will give you the option upload local files. Click on there. And select file. We'll go to my downloads folder. Downloads. Okay. And we'll be uploading that zip file. Because that would be easy and then later on I will unzip it. E shopper this one, the last one. Okay. And this file has been copied successfully. You can see under test code commit repo, this entire zip file has been copied. So if I will come back to my terminal and if I will do listing, you will see that zip file has been copied. Let's unzip it because I will not upload the directly zip file to the code commit. There's no point because we have to make some changes in the individual file, specific files. So definitely this needs to be unzipped first and then entire setup, all the files, all the folders, whatever it is, we will be pushing into your uh, Git repository. Okay. So unzip and then this file name. <coughs> 